Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So if you haven't guessed it by now, we are definitely doing a Halloween look today. Um, I did a slit mouth. Uh, this is kind of like a definitely beginner friendly. Um, I am not a MUA or a SFX makeup artist by any means. Um, I just like to kind of do simple looks that other people on my skill level can do as well and have fun with it. It's always fun to paint, play in some fake blood. So with that being said, uh, if you guys want to see how I created this, then just keep watching. Okay, so some of the items that you're going to need are tissue paper, scab blood, uh, paint, latex, a sponge, something that is not something from the Dollar Tree. That way you don't have to like waste your money and ruin a perfectly good sponge. Okay, so I'm gonna take my sponge and some latex and we're gonna start putting this on our cheek. We're gonna work from our outer corner of the mouth up into like mid cheek area. For each layer of latex, we're gonna add a tissue paper on top of it. And then once the tissue paper is on, we're going to cover that with latex and we're gonna do this for both sides. Okay, so now we're gonna take some eyelash scissors and make some tiny slits on each side. Please, please be careful. Do not hurt yourself doing this. Okay, so now I'm taking a black shadow and I'm going to shade inside of the slits that we made uh, in the tissue paper. Thank you. 
Now, I actually accidentally skipped a step. I forgot to go over it in my foundation, so I highly recommend you do that. Um, but I am going in now and using like a flesh tone color uh, to kind of paint the tissue paper. Now I'm going in with a fluffy brush and using this like warm red tone brown shade and I'm going to pat over everything and just kind of look like it's um, irritated around the latex. All right, it is scab blood time. I'm gonna start by filling the slits with the scab blood. I do wish I would have had like a liquid blood to kind of drain it down my chin. Um, but you know, you have what you have, work with it. And uh, I just took some of the scab blood and I kind of smeared it down a little bit. And it, I think it worked out. So that's it for this Halloween tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, found it fun, and uh, yeah, I will see you on the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.